Hi, I'm Garth Heistad. Today we're in Cathedral Pines in Black Forest, Colorado. This is a great project that shows a little of everything and I'm very excited to showcase it. So come on, join me and I'm gonna show you a great outdoor space. So this is a great property, it has some space to it. Actually had an existing fire feature that's really nice. I can envision my clients using that in the, in the summer months when the weather's real nice, but you know, most of the time we're gonna need something right off the main living space. So I'm really excited to be able to show you this deck and all that it has in it, because it has a little bit of everything, starting with this beautiful sweeping staircase. It's not just a spiral, it's actually a little more of a, a sweeping staircase, something that even your dog can go up. But let's check this out. When I designed this, I positioned the spiral staircase so that you could actually kind of see the mountains that would lead into the main living space. So this project really started with replacing the deck and increasing the size so that my clients would have enough space to really enjoy this really beautiful property that they have. So when replacing this deck, it was wood before, which means it was rotting. Every wood deck rots. So we replaced it with our structural galvanized forever framed system with a beautiful Envision decking. It will last a lifetime, but it doesn't look like plastic decking. It's really authentic, has different grain in it. And overall, as, as you see the same come together, I'm really happy with the design and what it's gonna offer my clients. This project started off with some key features that I could actually work with as a designer. One of them is this roof. It was already here, but it never drew my clients out into the space because it isn't protected. The wind, the weather just kind of blows in. After replacing the deck to fit with the existing roof, I visually completed this breathtaking area that looks out over Pikes Peak. Just a magnificent view. I framed it in with fire and then we put our glass so it picture frames all of the view and the mountains. The heat can reflect off the uh, glass, reflects back on us. Maybe not so important today, it's June, but when it's cold, even in the summer under the stars, this heat is gonna be perfect. We could turn it down or up to make it the perfect temperature for us. As you see, the outside of the space, we enclose that with glass. So everything is clean and simple and it really opens up this really beautiful view. So I really like this area. I feel like, you know, if we don't have a front coming in, it's not the dead of winter. Uh, this is a great sitting area and a really important part of our space. Now, every great space, in my opinion, should be, you should be able to use any day, a blizzard, a great day in summer and everything in between. So it's really important that we have one area of the deck that it's open air, that we could come out here, eat under the sky, put an umbrella up as long as we're here, you know, Colorado, any given second, we can get a big gust of wind and this thing would go bye-bye. But come out in the evening, eat, eat dinner. We protected them with some glass. Not only does the glass offer protection, from wind, but it also opens up their yard so everything is clean and simple and overall this looks beautiful. So we have a nice open air part of the deck that's very important in an outdoor living space is that combination of open, protected, but still the feel of being open. And then come on over here. This was a space that actually had a roof was never used. It was dark. They got blown away by the wind. Eight months of winter here on the Palmer Divide. So when I did this design, I expanded the space in here and it's really unique. So let's open up these glass walls. Summertime, unless there's a thunderstorm, no reason to uh, keep them closed. Beautiful thing is whether they're closed or open, this glass is frameless. So it's virtually invisible. All you do is see your breath taking space and views. So when I redesigned this, I kind of blew the deck out. I wanted to give myself some extra space for the outdoor kitchen area. And I enclosed everything with glass. As you could look in here, we have all these tracks. All the tracks are inlaid in the beams and in the floors. Each one of these panels of glass 
They weigh upwards to between 700 to 1,000 pounds per panel, but check out how easy they are to open and close. So that's about 700 to 1,000 pounds. There's four of them, so upwards between three and 4,000 pounds that I'm actually sliding right now. Just park them right back here. In the summer, you don't even need to close them. And then we have access to the outdoor kitchen. Again, it's outside of the roof. So all the smoke vents out. You have a beautiful barbecue. Has four different sections you could cook in. We have a smoker. Another really cool feature. This is our in-counter ice chest. It's really nice, clean and simple when you're not using it. Folds upwards to about 50 pounds of ice. And it's kind of cool if you have a get together or a party, you know, that everybody can get their drinks and beverages right out of the ice. This thing's insulated. It'll last upwards to a, about a week before it's all, you know, drained out of there. Um, so great cooking area, the best for summer use, winter use. My clients are gonna have a great life. And then this was the section of just wall that I felt like it offered me the opportunity to put in a big serving counter. Most people really don't think about that in an outdoor space. Where are we gonna set things? It's just so nice to be able to have, you know, places to set everything so it's not on our table. So this is a really nice counter space. I put a lot of different accessories in it. This is actually an ice maker for my ice chest over here. Got our drawers in here. Put all your accessories in here. We don't have to be carrying it, everything inside and outside. They self-close. They're totally lying. Mice, nothing's gonna get in. And actually, here's a really important feature too. It's, it's a trash can. I love having it inside my cabinet. No one needs to look at a trash can, but yet it's pretty convenient. When you're cutting stuff up, it goes right underneath there. Works really well. And then we have all these heaters. This space, I don't care, it could be zero, it could be below zero, it could be a blizzard. It would be a perfect day to be outside. All the heaters in here, got the TV, what a great life. When you live in Colorado, we have the making of a great life. We just have to consider the wind, the weather, and our seasons, and create these outdoor spaces. So it takes advantage of the property that we have. So I feel this really is a great outdoor space here, and yet it could open up to a hot tub area. Here, we're open to the view. I made it so that it's really easy to get in. We could come down here, get to our access panel, anything we need to. Don't have to open doors or anything like that. And then we have these beautiful wind walls. It will keep the wind off of them, but probably equally as important in this design. My theme was open, clean, simple. Let's let the trees and the mountains and just the beauty of Black Forest, that's the star. I feel like all of these glass walls really captured the best of that. You know, I love this project. It has a little bit of everything. Four season space, protected roof, it's still a little bit open with a beautiful, you know, sitting area with fire feature, nice open outdoor dining. And we're looking down to a fire feature that was already there, but yet it, it really is so complimentary in this space. Now we, we have a deck that is beautiful, has some beautiful color in it. It's maintenance free. It's gonna last not only a lifetime, it's gonna last beyond my homeowner's lifetime. And we're not gonna have to really do anything to, to take care of it other than to clean it. So thank you for taking the tour with me today. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this project as much as my clients are gonna enjoy using it. So to the next time.